Welcome. Uh, this is Elder Nunes. I'm going to speak about uh, the validation and refinement of IFRS 9 models. So model validation for probability of default model, uh, which is a case of scoring, um, specifically the population stability index, or also called SSI or PSI or system stability index of the models. So following book of the book of uh, credit risk analytics from Bayesians. Um, there are internal validation is separated in the validation of rating system and validation of the rating process. And in the validation of rating system, we have the model design, risk components, and in the checking of the risk components, it's like doing the back testing. It's like checking um, specifically the PD, EID, and LCD, probability of default, exposure at default, and low speed and default. So in the multi-level perspective, checking and back testing on a PD model, so we have the level zero, which is the stability, uh, population stability index measures to what extent the population that was used to construct the rating system is similar to the population that is currently being observed. So it's like comparing when we develop the model, what is the distribution of the population between the segments or scores? And then we comparing uh, with respect, for example, to 30th of April uh, as, a, as a validation date and then to compare if there is significant changes in in the data distribution, right? If we, that's, uh, is, there is a structural breaks or shocks in, in, in the data. Right, so level series data stability, population stability index, the lower, the better. So we have like stability of the model. So there is no structural changes or shocks when, when we have the lowest uh, PSI when we compare to different uh, scenarios. So the PSI shows the changes through the time to see if important shifts occur, to check the behavior of the score through times and or pockets in segmentation, right? So it is a review of the distribution of the population when we develop the model with respect to the most recent date, which is the validation date. So important to bear in mind is the population stability index. Changes also can occur due to structural changes in the rating model, but also to shift in the macroeconomic conditions. So when the economy is good, so maybe the scores is moving up, and otherwise when the economy is downturn, so we have a reduction in the score. So we need to bear in mind about this situation, right? So we need to have like similar macroeconomic conditions and to, to do a, a peer comparison, right? So the formula of PSI is the sum, sum of the population distribution actual sample here. It's like comparing the population distribution, the actual data, which is like time t, with respect to time zero when we develop the model. This is d is equals to the population distribution of the developing or sampling uh, uh, training the sample. So if when we develop the model at time zero. So it's time t population distribution minus the population distribution for each score or for each pocket or segment times the log of this rating, right? Which is the actual sample divided by the development uh, the, when we develop the model, the distribution. And the general convention used in the industry is when the PSI is below the 0.1, there is no significant shift. So it's like a green traffic light. When the PSI is between 0.10 and below 0.25, there's a moderate, moderate shift, so it's an amber traffic light. And when the PSI is above or equal than 25, so it's a chief, important chief, a significant shift in the, in, the, in, the, in the population distribution, so we need to check the model or to see what is happening. Right, so let's see a good example. This is a, let's first to check. This is a score one, two, three, four to 10. So we have 10 score or, or segments or buckets, right? Um, so 100% is separated or distributed in 9% score number one, 5% score number two, 10% number three, and so on. So 100% is distributed through these segments or scores, right? Okay, so, and then this is the, uh, that's the one, two, this is the bucket segment, and this is the second column is the distribution of PD model, 
here, second column. And the third column is the distribution of the probability to default the actual sample, right? So this one. So there is no changes of so 9% at a moment we develop the model. And for example, if actual, you know, hypothetically, is 9%, there's no changes here. So what we expect to, we expect there's no changes. So the population stability in this case will be one, right? Um, let's see what's happened when there is big changes, for example, from 9 to 8 percent, fine, from 5 to 6 percent, from 10 percent to 11, 13 percent to 12, and this, let's check some cases of from 3 percent to 8 percent in score number 8 or second number 8, and from 15 percent to 8 percent, and let's see what's happened. So, in this, we are using the interactive matrix language to, to do the calculation between the comparison between the column number three, which is the actual distribution, population distribution of the actual data, minus, so it's a comparing uh, with respect to, to uh, the population distribution of column number two, which is uh, when we develop the model, and times the log of uh, three minus two, right? So when we run this, then we have, okay, so we can see a big shift uh, in the population distribution is 5.29, 5 which is more than when we, uh, the convention, uh, which is uh, not 0.25, right? So that's an ex example of, okay, population stability index, let's check the model, something is happening, something is, is wrong. Um, this is another example of um, using the same bucket segments, 10 segments or scores or buckets, and then we check the population, the dis population distribution of the PD when we build the model at the, at, at the moment of the development, okay, when we build the, the scorecard. And then to compare with the actual data, so that's the, exa the same example as, as previously, these big changes here. And, and then we check this new PD distribution, population distribution, with respect to a forecast. So that's we are forecasting T plus one with this population distribution. So in this case, using this PROC IML, um, it's like uh, checking column three, which is this, the actual, minus column two, right? And also we are checking column four, which is the forecast, minus the column two, which is when we develop the model, the population distribution, and and also the forecasted with respect to column three, which is the actual in time t, right? Okay, let's run this and see compare. Right, so at the end, when we compare these three um, population distribution, then we have a big change between the development and the actual data, so it's a red light. In here, we have an amber light because uh, the, the, when we compare the actual data, uh, the forecast, uh, this is uh, this is specifically when we compare four, which is the forecasted, with respect to two, which is uh, the actual data. There is no not big big deal of changes, but it's above. Uh, 25, so it's also to, to have a check. Um, the convention is uh, above 25 is significant shift. And also when we use the, the same structure, when we compare the forecast with respect to, to the actual data uh, in, in, in using the, this new sample, it's like comparing when we forecast with this sample of data so then we see, okay, so there is not, not the big, big changes here. So it's not 0.17, uh, which is fine. So at the end, when we compare population stability index, the lowest, the better. So I think it looks that this forecast with respect to the actual is, is the best option. So it looks like, okay, so it's a need to, to change the model using the new data, the new, the, the new data. Uh, the new sample of data and then comparing to to see what and also as I said to bear in mind that shocks may be explained to macroeconomic changes 
so economic upswing that moves obligers to deeper uh, rating rates and otherwise. So this is it. Um, we based on uh, trading risk analytic book from 2018, Basins, BART. It's a very good and recommended, highly recommended to, to build these kind of models, okay? Thank you so much and hope you enjoy. Cheers, thank you. I'm gonna uh, send the code in, in this video. Cheers, thank you, bye.